all around us today are evidence of the brilliant works of a brilliant man, Nikola Tesla. No doubt you might know this. But what you may not know is the numerous wealth of his potential inventions that never made it to daylight and had thus followed him to the grave. What were these inventions? And what would life have been like had they come to fruition? Keep watching to find out. Imagine life with no limitations, electric power and machines doing all the work for you. Sounds good. This was exactly Tesla's dream for the world. Nikola Tesla, a Serbian-American inventor and electrical engineer, was known for his groundbreaking inventions and contributions to the field of electrical engineering. While alive, he was devoted to making things work. But sadly, he actually only saw some of his dreams for the world get realized, as a large chunk of his projects had to be abandoned. It's hard to do so much when no one believes in you. This and many other factors were a barricade to Tesla's dreams. So here are some of Tesla's inventions that never survived the papers. Sit tight. Tesla's wireless power transmission. If you've ever had a dream that felt so real you could almost touch it, then you can understand Tesla. Tesla's dream of wireless power transmission was so strong that it almost drove him insane. It was intended to provide a way to transmit electrical power over long distances without wires or cables. He envisioned a world where energy could be transmitted freely through the air to power homes, factories, and other facilities. Tesla's approach to wireless power transmission was based on his discovery of resonant circuits. He believed that by transmitting electrical energy at a specific frequency, he could create resonances in the receiver that would wirelessly transfer energy. And guess what? He was inspired by lightning. Hence, Tesla concluded experiments in the late 1800s and early 1900s to test his wireless power transmission concept. He built a large transmitter and receiver known as the magnifying transmitter, capable of generating extremely high voltages and frequencies. But despite his best efforts, Tesla could only transmit power over short distances with his wireless power transmission system. He had only successfully transmitted power up to 26 miles, powering a bank of light bulbs. He found that the energy loss in the atmosphere was too great for the system to be practical, and the efficiency of the transmitter was much lower than he had anticipated. Another issue that Tesla faced was the interference of other electromagnetic signals in the environment. This made it difficult for his wireless power transmission system to operate reliably and effectively. Again, there was no available investor to invest in Tesla's ambitions, and while the struggle to get JP Morgan to stick around was on, the project was hijacked by Marconi, a French inventor. While Tesla could not create a viable wireless power transmission system that could be used commercially, his research and experiments paved the way for future developments in wireless communication and power transmission, and his work continues to inspire scientists and engineers today. This is a known fact. Tesla's Oscillating Generator In the early 20th century, Tesla developed an oscillating generator that he hoped would be more efficient than traditional generators. His oscillating generator machine, also known as the Tesla Oscillator, was one of the most ambitious projects known to scientists at the time. The machine was designed to create free, unlimited energy by tapping into the Earth's natural resonance. However, despite years of experimentation and numerous attempts, Tesla was ultimately unsuccessful in creating a working prototype of the oscillator generator machine, and what he ended up with failed to produce the desired results. Tesla eventually abandoned the project, but it was not without coming up with another invention from the failed one. One of the oscillators was said to be able to cause earthquakes, given the vibration from the Earth's resonance. So while the oscillator generator wasn't a success, new desires were born. But let us consider some reasons why he failed in the first place. As mentioned earlier, one of Tesla's main challenges was the need for more funding and support for his work. Despite his genius and groundbreaking ideas, Tesla struggled for most of his life to secure the financial backing and resources he needed to develop and test his inventions. 
This lack of support made it difficult for him to conduct the extensive research and experimentation necessary to create a functional oscillator generator machine. Another challenge that Tesla faced was the limitations of the technology available at the time. The oscillator generator machine was designed to harness the power of resonance, a complex and difficult concept to harness in practice. Hence, Tesla's attempts to create a machine that could tap into this power were also hindered by the limitations of the technology and the equipment available to him at the time. Tesla's Vertical Takeoff and Landing In the 1920s, Tesla designed a prototype for a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. However, the aircraft was never built, and the design was never fully realized. He had devoted time working on this prototype, hoping to revolutionize the aviation industry. His design used high-powered turbines to create a vertical lift, rather than relying on wings and propellers. Tesla's aircraft design consisted of a series of disks, each with a turbine mounted on top. The disks would have been arranged in a vertical stack, each rotating independently to provide lift and propulsion. But despite Tesla's enthusiasm and success in designing and building several prototypes, he needed help to create a fully functional vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The main problem was that the turbines could not generate enough lift to keep the aircraft aloft for extended period. Again, there was difficulty in controlling the aircraft's flight. The rotating disks made the aircraft unstable and difficult to maneuver, and the lack of conventional wings and control surfaces made it difficult to steer and stabilize the aircraft in flight. But these problems were solvable with the right financial support. However, Tesla's vertical takeoff and landing aircraft were hampered by a lack of such financial support. Investors hesitated to invest in his ambitious project, and many considered it too risky and impractical. So when you next see an aircraft, also bear in mind that Tesla had contributed to the field. Tesla's work on vertical takeoff and landing aircraft was an important step in developing vertical flight technologies, inspiring scientists and engineers to this day. The Warden Cliff Tower The Warden Cliff Tower is another sad story. It was a large wireless telegraphy station designed and built by Nikola Tesla in the early 1900s. The tower was intended to be the centerpiece of a global wireless communication system, allowing people to communicate with each other worldwide without the need for wires or cables. However, Tesla faced many challenges in constructing and operating Wardenclyff Tower, with the leading being finance. Tesla had invested much of his money into the project, but needed help to secure additional funding from investors or government agencies. J.P. Morgan had initially been supportive but withdrew his support for lack of faith in the project, so things only worsened. As a result, Tesla was forced to abandon the project before it was completed. The tower was eventually demolished in 1917, and Tesla's dream of a global wireless communication system remained unrealized. The Death Ray In the 1930s, Tesla proposed the idea of a death ray, or teleforce. The concept was a weapon that could generate a powerful beam of directed energy that could be used to destroy enemy planes. Having a fleet of about 10,000 armies from a distance of about 250 miles. To him, even matters such as war could be handled invisibly with inventions. Tesla claimed that the weapon could be used to defend against air attacks and naval invasions, and this was a time when war characterized Europe. However, Tesla could never build a working prototype of the death ray. He had conducted experiments and demonstrated the technology to various military leaders and governments, but still lacked support, although the Soviet Union seemed to have piqued interest. With these projects' failure, Tesla soon declines in health, having breakdowns. But despite these failed projects, no one can deny the worth of Tesla's knowledge, even after his abrupt death on January 7, 1943 being 86 years old. Immediately after his death, the U.S. government seized Tesla's papers and classified them as top secret in 1952. The government was concerned that some of Tesla's research might be of military value, especially during the early days of the Cold War. Hence, the FBI searched Tesla's apartment and took away his documents and personal belongings. The government then moved the documents to the custodian of alien property 
which later became the office of Alien Property. Tesla's papers were kept classified for many years, and it was not till 1957 that the government began to release some of the documents, and it took until the 1980s for all of Tesla's papers to be released to the public. 